Hey everyone. Last week in art, we looked at the techniques that Van Gogh used in his paintings. And this is what I made just experimenting with dots and dashes and swirls and some similar colors. Now, this week, I want you to look at the PowerPoint that we've provided of um, self-portraits that Van Gogh painted. But I particularly want you to look at the background and the way he uses these techniques to create certain moods in the background and also the choice of colors. Now, what you're going to do, and if you can see this outline here, is just draw an outline of a person, could be you, you want, uh, just a head and shoulders, but we're not actually going to paint the portrait. What we're going to do is paint the background to represent the feelings and the emotions of the person in the picture by creating a mood. So when I was doing this, I looked outside, the sky was pretty gray and it looked like it was going to rain again. And the first thing I started thinking about was using gray colors to represent the sky. But then I didn't want that person to look too sad. I thought I wanted them to be cheerful, even though it was cloudy. So I decided I would use some yellows as well. So what you can see here is I've just built up the background using lines and dots and swirls in a Van Gogh style. Here I've started to add the yellow in and just taking a while to overlap them and use those techniques that we practiced last week until I've created the background for a person who is feeling quite cheerful, even though it is actually quite a grey day. So have a go at this. If you haven't got any paint at home, you can always use crayons or you could use chalks or you could use coloured pencils. Let us know who you get on. Be interested to see some of the pictures. Bye.